One of the two most beautiful women I ever met is called Nigella Lawson. Her father used to be Chancellor of the Exchequer under Margaret Thatcher, Nigel Lawson. She's married to a man called John Diamond, who has cancer, and he's lost his tongue. He only gurgles, speaks like that, and she can translate. Her sister died of breast cancer, and her mother died of breast cancer. So she has to be screened every year. Her husband's a little older than her, and she's got two children called Cosima and Bruno, three and five, and they're beautiful. And I was in her book-lined house, they're refitting the kitchen. And John is kind of funny about this because he knows he won't be there necessarily to see the end of the kitchen being refitted. But still he makes his input and makes his decisions. And in the course of our interview, she said, if I wanted to be rich, I'd have gone into the city. But I'm lucky because this way, I like writing, and this way I can follow my interests and I can do what I like to do. I'm so lucky. And I called up the next day and I said, Nigella, I know why you're lucky. I understand, but my readers will not understand. Why, how can you say, with your husband dying of cancer and all of that, how can you say you're lucky? And how can you, as a food writer for Vogue, how can you search for the right asparagus? It's so trivial. Or is it that those small things are what count? And she said, yeah. She said, I think it's only in its tiniest moments that we most deeply experience life. 